so there was also um there was also this as i uh as i saw reminder that for every mri situation there are somehow people like keemstar who downplay an abusive situation and somehow try and put it back on the victim fucking weirdo says jake sucky clearly the husband is abusing she showed the text but here's what you don't have to do okay well um here's what you don't here's what you shouldn't do put the butt there what do you mean but what but amaranth herself has scammed so many guys online claiming she was single for years these twitch streamers don't care about their viewers they all just use you and your low iqs to fill their po- uh to fill their pockets that's bananas that's insane could have been a, a, a moment where Keemstar did not find mathematically the absolute worst fucking take you can, right? Could have been that moment for him. And he chose to do what Keemstar always does. So all of porn is a scam then? Yeah, if you're fucking, if you're stupid, then yes, all of porn is technically a scam. If you think that porn stars do not have you know, their own personal lives. If you think that they're like legitimately stepsister and stepbrother with one another, if you think that people are legitimately getting stuck in a fucking washing machine, uh, like unironically, uh, if you think that people are actually doing a backroom casting couch, for example, then yes. You know, then, then, you know, it is a scam for you because you're too stupid to understand that it's entertainment and should be consumed as such. And that when entertainers are done entertaining, they're human beings. And this, this oftentimes um, is, a, is a thing that uh, is, is hard to, it's hard to comprehend for a lot of people in the Twitch streaming sphere. It's hard for people to comprehend. It's hard for stands uh, to comprehend this when, when they're talking about their favorite content creators and stuff, Right. But I think uh, overall, even stands are fucking uh, uh, better equipped than than these the weird like uh, parasocial haters are in understanding a, a you know in in understanding boundaries, right? But this is especially uh, a a part of uh, the way that people operate in the way that people uh, analyze sex workers and their personal lives because they're like, well, she's objectifying herself. So ultimately, I should be able to objectify her in every part of her life. There is no person at that, uh, in that moment, just a completely irrelevant point. No, that is not an irrelevant point. It is at the heart of this fucking misunderstanding, okay? Everybody in entertainment to a certain degree, everybody in entertainment to a certain degree faces this kind of thing. People just don't think like Chris Hemsworth is Chris Hemsworth. They think he's Thor to a certain degree, right? Obviously, mega celebrities have uh, a a level of privacy uh, that is built in to their lives. So most people can't pry in as much. Do you understand? Whereas like the, the further down the fucking entertainment content rung you go, the more... Uh, the more people feel like they have a say in your lives and the more people feel entitled to every part of your lives. And it happens all the time. It happens in every part of the industry. However, however, it is so much worse when you're a woman because of misogyny. And it's also infinitely worse on top of that. Okay? It's infinitely worse on top of that when you are a sex worker. And like everybody understands it. People don't fucking think that, like, Johnny Sins is an astronaut. You know? When Johnny Sins is done fucking your mom, he's Johnny Sins, or whatever his real, you know, Christian name is, whatever his government name is. You know what I mean? He's a normal human being. The reason why I'm using a male porn star as an example is because uh, oftentimes a misogynistic audience is a, a, you know, a better way of, 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 Recognizing the humanity of, of people when and, and not objectifying them when it's a dude. And in this circumstance, it doesn't even seem like she was the one who was, um, you know, keeping this relationship a secret. She wanted, to, she wanted to come out with it. And her husband was the one who was like, no, it's bad for our business model. It's bad for our business model. And it's not the case regardless. Like, it's not up to us. 
uh, to, to understand, recognize, know uh, what is going on there in their personal lives. It's disgusting to see the internet continue to invalidate and dehumanize victims of abuse. What Amaranth has been trapped in is very real, especially having joint accounts, married, dealing with threats, etc. I hope she gets the freedom and relief any human in abuse deserves. Yeah. It's crazy. And there was a guy, your fellow Arab or something, I think, who said something along the lines of like, I mean, he made a joke. Uh, I, he made a, a, a very a very tasteless and careless joke uh, basically about it being like, lol. Like, it's crazy that you fucking saw this video and then this is what you came out with. You know what I mean? Amaranth has had a husband this whole time, yet I've been gifting thousands of tier three subs every month. How do you charge back on a credit card? I've been wanting to tell people that... Like, let's just stream together. Just tell them that we're fucking married. Because it's like, our relationship would be better if we just stream them. And it's a fighting all the time. But no, Mr. I don't, know, I don't say that because it's going to run the business model. It's not time yet. Fuck yourself. I'm done with it. I'm not going to fuck you anymore. Piece of shit. Yeah. Like it's just not the time, you know what I mean? It, it, it has to be satire. Yeah, no shit. I don't think he actually gave thousands of tier three subs to Amaranth every month, guys. He's making a joke about him being like the the supposedly fake oiler simp that like Pokimane has and shit, right? Like they say Pokey has this as well. And like in other instances, it's in uh, in other instances like Fine. It's like misogynistic. Uh, it, it's it's uh, up to the context. Uh, it's up to the relationship that you have with the other individual. You know what I mean? If you're going to make a joke like that. But like making it on top of this fucking person, like bawling her eyes out as she reveals her seven year long domestic abuse is, you know, this guy hates you because of the Andrew Tate debate. Okay, whatever. I don't give a shit. Once y'all realize that your financial dedications to a content creator don't entitle you to anything other than what you specifically pay for, ad breaks, skips, special emotes, merch, etc., the world will know peace. They're not scamming you. Your parasocial ass is scamming yourself. Look at that. My fans understand it. It's a boundary that I fucking set a very long time ago, and it's one that I'm unafraid of repeating regularly, okay? There you go. It's something that I talk about routinely. I'm like, listen, I'm a fucking content creator. I'm a streamer. I'm very honest with you, okay? But, like, I want to maintain a level of privacy. I want to maintain a level of privacy when I fuck your moms, okay? That's between me and your mom. Even you don't need to know. Just because she's moaning in the other room doesn't mean you need to know about how hard I'm fucking your mom. Okay? You get what you pay for and you don't pay for private details. You pay for entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm watching on speakers and she's one room away. That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, if you think that's fucked up. At TwitchCon, I found out that like moms actually do watch me alongside the kids. So, but yeah, my community is great. And this is also part of the reason why, because they, no matter how big of a fan they might be of me, they also understand and respect these boundaries. Okay. They get it. And there's no amount of justification that you can engage in. If a Hassan Stan account understands this reality, you should be able to understand it as well. Okay? People love to say like, oh, dick riders, dick riders, whatever. Well, you know. Simps are crying right now like with Pokemon lol. Like, no, nah, it's just like everyone trying to I don't follow her. I just know her from the pool streams and I really don't care. Bro, she's being abused and this is what you have to say, Jesus Christ. Yeah, people are fucking trying to farm impressions off of it. Okay? And that's it. That's what they're that's what they're going along with and it's fucked up. I don't care that I'm being a fucking dickhead. It is not the own you think it is. Okay? When people are like, well, what's going on? Like, why are you behaving this way? 
and you go, I don't care. It's like, well, you do care. You cared enough to make a fucking joke about it. But also, you know, you're a dick. Like you, yes, like me. I farm off of, uh, you know, every instance of war. But it's weird because I'm also farming technically when no one is actually paying attention as well. It's just an odd thing. You know? It's so odd that I just, uh, you know, talk about issues like this, like larger com concepts such as sexual assault, domestic violence, domestic abuse, all the time. Even when you're not fucking tuned in. I guess I'm farming then too, but uh, you just don't, you don't give a shit when it's happening. I've never seen you talk about those things when I wasn't tuned in. Yeah, it's so crazy. Thanks for tanking the internet. You're the number two chat tank after the entire hot tub category. Yeah. Uh. Team doesn't understand how fucking dense do you have to be. I've been getting a lot of tweets saying I support Amaranth getting abused. No. Or then I'm supporting her abuser. No. Or then I'm victim blaming. Also, no. I was just making the point that I don't feel like any creator should lie to their fan base for money. It's wrong. Yeah, unless it's Keemstar doing it, in which case it's so right, like uh, calling people pedophiles uh, without any sort of evidence whatsoever. Or, uh, by the way, he, he's lying in that tweet. Like his business model, he's lying in that tweet. Even when you move beyond his business model of just like trafficking misinformation regularly to spark up drama what he calls drama when sometimes it's literally criminal actions um like he's literally lying in that tweet without realizing maybe he's too stupid to understand it but no he is victim blaming so that's a lie when he says i'm not victim blaming you're fucking lying you, you did victim blame saying like <laughs> You know, Amaranth is is uh, Amaranth is in the wrong here when she is straight up being abused and exploited is victim blaming. That's what that is. That that is that is the textbook definition of victim blaming. I don't understand how people can't comprehend that. Amaranth is a victim. If you understand that she is a victim and you are placing the blame on her, that's what you are doing. Because you recognize that she is a victim. Here, let's look at the Wikipedia of it so he understands what it is. Victim blaming occurs when a victim of a crime or any wrongful act is held entirely or partially at fault for the harm that befell them. Okay? If you look at a situation like Amaranth's and you recognize that she is a victim of exploitation of domestic abuse, but then you turn around and say, but she deserved it, or you turn around and say she uh, lied to her fans and, you know, put the blame or the emphasis on her, well, then you're victim blaming. That's what that is. Okay? She has agency here. Don't compare her to Britney. Why not? I mean, wh why not? Literally. It's, it's domestic abuse through and through. You look at the fucking actions of that. Like, her agency is... is Quite literally so marginal in her own fucking life that she doesn't have access to her bank accounts. Chatter, what the fuck do you mean? It's basically a, a, a conservatorship through uh, marriage. Incels don't see her as a victim, so they didn't see it as victim blaming. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Look. Does she have agency though? She seems like she might be a prisoner. It, from everything that she has mentioned, from everything that she has mentioned, it does seem like she had no, a, pretty much no fucking agency. Like, bro, she didn't have agency to take fucking time off to go to Disneyland. Okay? What the fuck? She couldn't take a day off to go to Disneyland. This dude was like, if you want to take a day off to go to Disneyland, you got to do a 24 hour stream. Hello? Does that strike you as the type of person who has agency in her life? Or does that strike you as the type of person who has no agency in her life? I work with survivors of abuse, and while we hope she'll leave a survivor, we'll leave seven times before they're done for good. Hopefully no one criticizes her if she tries to work it out with them or walk statements back. Yeah. 
Why is no one mad at the abusive husband for scamming everyone? Like, hello, the business model? Well, remember, it's misogyny. People weren't mad at Andrew Tate when Andrew Tate was pimping women and literally was the person who was duping dudes into fucking emptying out their bank accounts. And people were like, lol, that's fine. That's why I joined Hustlers University. Andrew Tate openly was just like, I was literally milking these motherfuckers. I was the one who was writing this shit. And people still uh, place him uh, high up like a fucking deity. Also, Amaranth for years uh, got praise for being a genius businesswoman. Based on this new information, the hidden husband behind the scenes was the one making all the businesswoman moves. So, like, he is doing everything he can to be as... Like, this is... I hadn't even thought about this, okay? This motherfucker is, like, hitting every angle he possibly could. Like, he's trying to be as misogynistic as he possibly can. It's crazy, dude. Notice how the scamming is done on behalf of Amaranth, okay? Like, Amaranth is the one lying to her audience, and that's disingenuous, and that's indecent. Even though the husband literally told her to lie and keep the relationship private, but also the big business moves, the big money moves, that was all on the husband. You don't know anything. Bigotry is like a puzzle piece, okay? I've talked about this before. Bigotry is like a puzzle piece, right? Sometimes, when you look at a situation, you have an empty puzzle piece in there that, like, perfectly perfectly locks the, the situation in place. You see, let's say, um, a car was stolen, okay? If your immediate inclination is that a black person stole it, you have a racism puzzle piece, okay? You added that puzzle piece. You saw a car that was stolen, and you thought about suspects, and the puzzle piece was racism. Blam, you thought it was a black person. In this circumstance, it's misogyny, okay? There are parts of this, there are parts of the circumstance where, like, you have information, and then there are parts of the circumstance where you don't have some information, you don't have access to this information, and you're making it up as you go along. That is Keem, though, so does it really surprise you? It does, it does and it doesn't. It doesn't surprise me that he came up with the worst possible fucking take in this situation, but sometimes I'm like, God damn, dude, you really, you really exercise, you massage parts of your fucking brain to come at, at, like, to become as creative as possible, to be as misogynistic as possible. In a situation like this, where someone comes out, openly talks on, li on a live broadcast about their abuse, shows proof about their abuse, their ongoing fucking exploitation, this person that, like, has locked their fucking business accounts, like, has a tentacle on every fucking aspect of their lives, and you still go, how am I going to make this in the most creative and unique way, the problem of the victim? That's kind of, that's wild. I mean, that's, like, that's up there. That's creative. Why do I feel like he doesn't believe his own takes? No, I think he does. I think he believes his own takes. I definitely think he believes his own takes. What do you mean? He, he's that stupid. Like... I'm going to look through this thread one more time to see if there's anything I forgot to mention, but I think I mentioned everything. He is the most divorced dad of all time. Yeah, but... Man's will will reach for anything to be in the spotlight, especially with the bad taste. Does no one remember when he said all the Minecraft YouTubers were turning gay when Rambo came out? Jesus Christ. I deleted the whole Amaranth thread. Too many people are making bad faith arguments, manipulating what I said and straight lying. I also need to take some responsibility for not communicating my points better. I'm going to respond to all this tomorrow live on the Keemstar show. Yeah, he's just promoting his show. Dude, remember when Keemstar said he was going to fucking... Uh, remember when he, Keemstar said he was going to fucking retire? It was so sick. All was well in the universe for like a brief moment. What is he going to retire from being a piece of shit on the internet? I mean, that'd be cool. All right. Who has the, uh, who has the Kanye West thing? Cause we're moving on.